I recorded a video with my sisters that I was going to post today, but I felt like this video was just the right video for posting today. You know, it's New Year's. And for New Year's, everybody's talking about New Year, New Me, so why not put out a video just addressing dreams, aspirations, goals. But don't worry though, that new video with my sisters is coming out the day after you're watching this video or it could come out the same day. So just stay tuned to my channel, don't go nowhere because this channel is about to be lit. What is going on everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, JNYC or Jordan. Welcome back to my channel for a brand new video. And today, right now it is December 30, 10 o'clock on the dot p.m. The day you guys will be watching this is New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2016. So first and foremost, Happy New Year's, we made it. 2016 has been a crazy, crazy, crazy year with a lot of downfalls and a lot of upsides. First, I wanna say, if you had any family members, friends who couldn't make it to see 2017, my condolences go out to you. I'm sorry for your loss. I know how it feels, dude. I lost a very dear friend to me in 2016, and you know, that shit is tough. But sometimes you just gotta, you know, thank God that you are able to just, you know, keep living for them, you know what I mean? Now, the purpose of me even like getting this camera, turning it on right now at this very moment is I've really been wanting to talk about this topic. Every time I do talk about this topic, I don't go into full depth. I talk about like little tiny points about this, you know, and you could probably tell by the title what this is. I'm probably gonna put like some corny shit like dreams and aspirations or some shit. Something for the new year, you know? Goals or something like that. I wanna talk about dreams and goals, you know what I mean? And I myself, I have a lot of dreams and goals. Coming into the new year, we like to call them New Year's resolutions. Throughout my 19 years of living, you know, I wanna say from the time you are like five or seven, you know what I mean, five to seven, that's when you start real like knowing and understanding what a New Year's resolution really is, you know? And I've noticed that within those years, all of my resolutions have never came true. And there's a reason for that. I don't like to go by New Year's resolutions. I just like to call them my dreams and my goals now. And ever since I set out dreams and goals and not New Year's resolutions, I've been achieving them. I told myself in 2015, because I graduated with the class 2015, you guys may have heard about this in my first ever video, my story time video of how I almost didn't graduate. I set out a goal to graduate on time despite being technically two years behind when it comes to my credits. When it came to my credits, I was technically two years behind. If you looked at my papers, it would say technically I'm a sophomore, when in reality I'm a senior, and I wasn't supposed to graduate with the class of 2015. I set out a goal to prove every person wrong who doubted me. That included my teachers, friends, guidance counselors, whoever doubted me, I set out that goal to prove them wrong. You know what I mean? And I didn't make it a resolution. I made it a goal. I made it a finish line. You feel me? And when you make things a finish line and you speak it into existence, you will hit that goal if you work towards it. I watch a lot of FouseyTube. And in one video specifically, he was talking about how, you know, how he got all of his success, you know? and. Fusi is like a big, very big inspiration to me. One of the top reasons why I started doing YouTube is because of Fusi and because of this video. He said in this video, he believes in the law of attraction. For those of you that don't know what the law of attraction is, is basically to put it into like simple form. If you speak negative, the universe is just gonna bring negative to your life. But if you speak only positive, 
you know and that's what we really want to focus on in 2017 focus on the positive if you speak positive positive energy will come to you and you will see things that you speak positively about come to you now me when i was trying to graduate i was speaking very positively about graduating i wanted to graduate it i really wanted to get there i wanted to step across the stage with the rest of my friends and prove people wrong i spoke it into existence i kept saying i'm gonna prove you wrong i'm gonna prove them wrong i'm gonna prove them wrong i told my principal i'm gonna prove her wrong I told my guidance counselor i'm gonna prove you wrong literally in their face you know and why did i say that because i truly believed it and i spoke it into existence and i worked on it and i prayed on it and that happened i believe in 2017 me and all my friends are gonna be big like when i'm talking big i mean like in whatever we're trying to accomplish you know whatever goals we're trying to to get to i really do feel that we are going to be like one of the top you know what i mean we're going to be up there i'm trying to make this you i'm going not even trying you see i'm going to make this youtube thing work in 2017 i keep saying this in my other videos one million one year hashtag one million in one year road to one million because i honestly do believe if i work hard enough i could get one million subs in one year why can't i there's other people who have definitely done that who have started with maybe eight thousand subs and for example morgues I really, I started watching Morgz when he had about 600,000 subs. But I went down, you know, I, I watched all his old videos. And I saw like, you know, when he started in, when he started off the 2016 year, he only had about 8,000 subs, you know? And his goal was to only hit 50,000. Now you look at him, he's at 1 million subs. Like he just made a 1 million subscribers special video. Thank you guys for subscribing to him. And he started off with 8,000 subs this year. Why can't I do that? Now, I feel like I could really do it because if he did it with 8,000, I'm already I'm already almost at 1,000 subs. I'm at, I'm gonna show you exactly how much I'm at right now. Right now, I'm at 815 subs. I wanna thank you guys for that, by the way. Thank you for getting me to 800 subs. I wanted to hit, I wanted to end off the year with a thousand, but I got 815, you know? And I'm very blessed that I was able to get that. To a lot of other people, that's not a lot. But to me, who started off with literally like 200 subs, I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. But if we really wanna get technical here, we could round that off to a thousand. I'm gonna be starting off 2017 with a thousand subs basically you know and to see Morg start off with 8,000 subs and get to a million in one year before the year even ended he hit 1 million like that's just motivation that's what fucking drives me to like keep going because I see it happen I know that it's possible all I gotta do is literally put the work in you know I got to stay up up some nights. I'm gonna lose some sleep. That's just what I, but it's like, I knew what I was getting myself into when I started doing YouTube. All I'm saying is for everybody who is doubted or anybody who has resolutions for this year, don't make it a resolution. Make it a goal and speak it into existence. Cause once you do that, you speak that shit into existence. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Speak it into existence, pray on it, and actually work towards it. I promise you, whatever you're asking for in 2017 is going to happen. I said I wanted to graduate on time. It happened. I said I wanted 1,000 subs by 2017. I didn't get 1,000, but I got 200 away. So that happened. Now. In terms of 2017, my goals, my dreams, I want to hit 1 million subscribers. If I hit more than that, great. But right now, I'm looking at 1 million subscribers. That's the finish line right now. And then after that, we're going to two, three, four. I want to hit 
10 million, you know, eventually down the line. But as far as 2017, I know for a fact I could get 1 million subs if I put the work into it and if you guys rock with me all the way over there, you feel me? Another goal I have for 2017 is to eventually get to LA. I want to move to LA. The reason for me wanting to move to LA is all of the big content creators that you know I look up to, I watch, I'm fans of, they're all in LA. To name a few, Pontiac May DDG, just moved to LA, Logan Paul, Amanda Cerny, Lance Stewart, Jesse Wellens, just a lot, a lot, a lot of just content creators that I think is are very creative and can push me to the next level is over there. And those are the people that I want to collab with. You feel me? Those are the people I want to collab with. Not to say I don't want to collab with smaller YouTubers, because I do. I want that. I feel like that's the key to growing is collabing. So of course I want to collab with smaller YouTubers, medium-sized YouTubers. I'm a small YouTuber. You feel me? So of course I'm gonna collab with small YouTubers down the line. But the goal is to reach out to the big ones, the ones who have all the success right now, and somehow get a collaboration going with them. And in LA it's easier to do that because they're right there. So that's one of the reasons why I really wanna move out there. And another reason is there's just more to do out there. Cause eventually, I told you guys in my last video, I really want to start daily vlogging. And in Atlanta, there's nothing really to daily vlog. Like I can vlog here, no doubt I could vlog here, but not daily because there's nothing to do every single day. I could go to Coca-Cola factory, I could go to the aquarium, and after that, it's like all of the attractions are done, as far as I know. So there's not much for me to do out here. I feel like I either have to be in New York or LA, and I really wanna go to LA. I could go back to New York anytime I really want to, I believe, but LA is like, that's the goal. You feel me? And, and that's where I really need to be if I really want to get my creative juices flowing and get my content to the next level where I can bring you guys the best, best quality content in terms of editing, filming, directing, producing, just everything completely in a whole. I want this channel to be the next big thing. I want this channel to be on the level of Rice Gum, who fucking gained 5 million subs in one year. Like, that is just so insane, you know? like. It's just, it's just motivation. That's all I'm saying. It's motivation. If you want it, you gotta go get it, you know? And you really gotta want it. And I really want it. So that's my goals for 2017. Hit 1 million, move out to LA with some of my friends if they are willing to go. And just start making more collabs, man. Like, just, if you're a small YouTuber and you're watching this, Reach out to me. I believe my email should be in the description. Let's talk about collabs. All my social media links are also down below. DM me. Hit me up because I'm ready to start collabing. I want to make some great, great content. And that's only possible if I collaborate with other YouTubers and other content creators. It doesn't have to only be for YouTube. It could be for Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I just want to create videos. I want to just get all of the juices flowing. So remember guys, as 2016 ends, don't make resolutions, make goals and speak them into existence. Remember, speak it into existence, pray on it and actually work for it. It will happen for you. Trust me, it works. I really feel 2017 is gonna be my year. You know, and if I work for it, then I deserve it and I'm going to deserve it. So I just hope you guys are ready to join this journey with me because I'm on a mission and it's for one mil. With that being said, it's your boy JNYC. All my social media links are down below. If you like this video, if it gave you any type of inspiration to get up and just go do it, you know what I mean? Just, just, just fucking go do it like this video. All my social media links are down below, like I said. If you are new to this channel, please press that red button down below that says subscribe. Press it, join the family, and press the little bell right next to it so that way you'll never miss 
when I post a new video. And I promise you, I'm posting a lot in 2017. It's your boy JNYC. We are signing out. Peace. Let's get it. 2017, let's go.